and I don't really work for money. I don't put a price to my passion. I'm extremely sure of myself and who I am. Understand myself. Uh, first, I wrote a biographical sketch of the character, which I do for all my characters. I wrote uh, a sketch from the day he was born till uh, the first moment that you see him in the film. What took him there? What made him who he was? Uh, it had nothing to do with the rest of the film, actually. Uh, and I'm sure none of it really reflected on the, the rest of the film or the rest of the script. But what it did for me it was it gave me a better understanding of the character and uh, helped me sink into it. After which I, I kind of went to the actual locations in terms of taking the understanding of this character further. And I lived in a slum, uh, in the slum that we shot in, it was the same slum. I lived there, I ate there, bathed there, talked to the people, recorded their voices, shot their photographs, learned a lot actually. If you notice in company, I've uh, colored myself eight shades darker, my skin color. I did one hour 20 minutes of body makeup every morning uh, for almost 120 days. Uh, that was a decision I took when I was in the slums and realized that I was this only chikna looking guy in the whole slum, wasn't looking real. And being Seema Biswas' son in the film, uh, that helped me a lot in terms of getting into the character. Small things like breaking the sophistication when we hold a teacup and the way they would hold it. Uh, the way they'd speak. Um, not really in tune with the fallacy of RLI, JRLI, KARLI, MARLI, which is this whole glamorized Bhai language which you'll probably see with the blackies, you know, the black marketeers of uh, film tickets because they're so film influenced. But the real guys don't really speak like that. They speak like you and me. Uh, instead of saying, Kya uh, karne aap, you know, or Main aap se kuch keh raho. They'll say, Main bol na. So that's the only difference. Their vocabulary would be a little different and they'll round off their vowels and con consonants a little bit. Thodi si brushed bhasha hogi. That's about it. Uh, interesting word you use is hype. Uh, hype is uh, like air in a tire, it deflates and inflates on its own. I don't really like to measure myself with uh, things that are so unconstant and unsteady. I believe in myself, I have a certain degree of belief in my fortes, I understand my weaknesses to some extent. And uh, I have an understanding of myself which, which is what I rely on more than uh, another person's perception of me or a media's perception of me. Because I think I know myself a little more than uh, the media claims to know me. Uh, so whether it's the one crore tag, which is uh, phenomenally fictional, uh, because uh, I don't have a penny in my pocket right now, as of now. Uh, and I don't really work for money. I don't put a price to my passion. I work for the work. I work for a creative vision. And a commercial ambition is extremely distinctly different from uh, the creative vision for me. So apart from all these um, things that the media claims uh, that I am and I am all about, which I, and I feel they've been very kind and generous in their praise, I'm not sure if I'm all deserving. Uh, I'm extremely sure of myself and who I am, understand myself. So if the media says I'm a superstar, I don't really uh, take it seriously. Neither if they say that I'm a complete failure do I take it seriously. So that's the way I look at it.